All right, hey guys, Jason here, Samco Workshop. Today we have Broncos right here that we're looking at. The reason we're looking at them is because Ford, sorry, always somebody making a lot of noise there. Um, but Ford just announced that they are now going to um, offer deals. They're offering $1,000 to anybody who owns a Jeep to be able to convert over to Bronco. And it doesn't have to be a Wrangler. Even if you just own a, uh, a Jeep Renegade or a uh, Cherokee, Grand Cherokee, or a Wrangler or a Rubicon um, or a Gladiator, they will give you $1,000 to switch over to the Bronco. And Ford also, for the first time ever, is offering A-plan pricing. For everybody on the Broncos, and there will even be leasing deals coming up too. So they're really moving pretty hard on the Bronco to be able to get people converted over to it. So here we have a Outer Banks, here we got a Badlands, there we got a Wild Track. So you got three different versions here: a two-door with a hard top, four-door soft top, and a four-door hard top here. So you got all the options. Um, we have the keys to the Badlands, so we will take a look at that basically and show you. Uh, but differences wise, you know, you're basically your street version here. And when you get up to this one here too, you're getting 33, I think our 33, there are 33s that are on this. Um, and uh, the Badlands package, so it's not a Sasquatch, but this one they did opt for both front and rear lockers on it, which is nice. And then we have the Wild Track right here, which gives you the 35s, the front and rear lockers, the whole details, everything in there as well too. So we'll take a look at this one right here. The two door is a beautiful rig, don't get me wrong. I would want a four door, I think most people do. I would also want the hard top because I am a photographer and I'm carrying tons of cameras and photo and video gear. Sometimes I'll have 30, 40 grand worth of gear with me and this does not work for me security wise. I'd much rather have that set up. Uh, but we have the keys for this so we will take a look at them. We'll do a quick walk around real fast just to show you some of the differences here on them. Okay, as you can see from the backs. What you're looking at here awesome awesome vehicles and now if i wasn't in as far as suvs go i'm a big fan of the wrangler don't get me wrong love the wrangler but these are these things are super capable vehicles there's no doubt about it they got a lot of a lot of potential and a lot of power and my wife being in the forerunner who is parked down there sitting in the car waiting for me she wants a hardtop version of this one right here with the Sasquatch package on the 35s. Or basically, I should say she wants the four-door version of this in the Heritage Limited Edition, which is that teal color with the white steel wheels and white roof. She wants it more than anything. That'll probably be her next vehicle uh, when we do get rid of, the, or when we, you know, whenever she gets another vehicle, that's probably what she's going to get. But amazing setup. So let's take a look at this one here. We got the, uh, should still be unlocked? Yes. Love that the windows come down when you lock. See, when you open and close the door, the windows, because of the seal, they drop automatically. Watch when I touch the handle. See how they drop down out of there? When I close it, the window goes up. Kind of a neat feature. And I love how they put the mirrors are mounted on the pillar here, so when you remove the doors, there's no issues with having to relocate the mirrors. Very nice feature. Love the tie-down points right here for, especially if you have the hard top on there, being able to put canoes and kayaks and stuff on there, you have dedicated tie-off points right here. Um, love that here you're getting recovery hooks, good solid up high recovery hooks in the front. It's the same on the Wild Track, same with the Sasquatch package. You're going to get these where you're not on the front on the Outer Banks model. You're getting them down low. They're still there and they're still fully functional and they're still good, but they are not up high on a bumper where it's easier. That's kind of a nice feature. Um, now, when we look at this, like I said, capability-wise, we're talking an amazing vehicle here. We got rock rails right here, on here, rock guards on there automatically. Got them right here, too. This one, I think, is probably, a, it's not opening, but those ones there are probably a drop-down step on that. Um, but I love the keypad right here for entry if you hike or you run um, and you do a lot of trail running. It's nice to be able to leave your keys in your car and just use that kind of stuff to access it. So, inside... Following the cues from Jeep, we got this mesh netting, which people love or hate. I think it's nice and great in the beginning. Eventually, they get weak and flimsy, but here, very easy to buy new ones and replace it. Nice feature. Uh, simple, pass through. This is kind of a bummer that it passes through on here. Be nice if that was closed off so you could actually stick something there, a pen or whatever it would be nice to, you know, or my wife always has her lipstick stuck in there, so that would be kind of nice. Interior-wise, a lot of room, beautiful setup in this, okay? Nice leather, I mean, quality. Um, and then when we climb into this, we can see here the, the main bar right here. Front locker, 
rear locker, uh, that weird uh, trail turn assist button that they got on there, traction control off. Like I said, a lot of nice features in this thing. Um, you got all your, your GOAT modes right here, two high, four high, four auto in this one, four low. You got everything that you're looking for right here for it. So sweet, simple, and easy, functional. We have electric start or push button start how nice is that you guys have heard me complain in my ford ranger videos that you know this is only an option on a lariat it's very disappointing here they're giving it to you like jeep your window buttons are here not on a door so that the doors are easy to remove and you can still have your window buttons right here too which is kind of a nice feature uh you don't have to worry about all that extra connection and stuff like that in there so it's kind of nice this one being a soft top you can see the setup we'll show you around big glove box huge glove box love the grab handle right there which is really nice grab handle right here which is really nice huge compartment down here which is really nice usb ports right there radio function with buttons and knobs i love that okay i'm not a fan of stuff in the touch screen all the time and uh we have the glove box right here which has got uh 12 volt in it as well and a nice little setup in there so lots of room we fire this dude up Here's your dash layout in this thing. Fully customizable. So you can modify and change things around on there and stuff like that too in that main screen. Right, Turn that down. There we go. Dash in here. Let it kick in. All your controls, classic Ford, easy to read, fast, snappy, beautiful setup in here. Um, Ford, like I said, always does their screens very, very well, very impressive. Um, so beautiful setup in this thing. Uh, you got all your aux switches up here and everything that you want for that. So like I said, I mean, this Bronco is nice. Now the Bronco does feel huge. When you're looking out of this thing, let's turn that back off just for the sound factor. When you're looking out of this thing, it feels like it's 10 times bigger than it is. This thing feels bigger than an F-150, feels more like you're driving a Super Duty by the shape and the size. However, the hood vents or the hood scoops on the sides, the points, sure do make it easy when you're off-road and to know where your corners are. And it makes it super easy to actually navigate this vehicle, even though it feels so big. So there's a lot of room in it, and it is a massive, just awesome, awesome rig. Let's go look around in the back of this thing. I love the handles right here, too. They're nice. These are good and easy, too, but I, I like that design on there. So that's basically our setup in the front cockpit area of this thing beautiful beautiful layout and the capabilities of this thing are amazing like i said front and rear lockers and that trail turn assist where it locks up a wheel for you but the front and rear lockers and they are so fast so tactile buttons and they are so fast to engage um it's just it's amazing they do an absolute fantastic job and this is your sway bar disconnect i'm sorry i forgot to mention that but you got your sway bar disconnect this is basically what you get with the uh this whole panel you're getting right here is, is what you get with the sasquatch package okay is what you're getting on this setup here so beautiful beautiful layout um in this design and this kind of thing and now when we come to the back seat see windows go up watch this one too <laughs> And drops the window down a little bit in here same kind of setup there you can see we got quite a bit of room in here and this seat was way too far back for me so i was probably set up for about where a probably a, a 510 512 or 511 or six foot tall guy would be and you can see we still got quite a bit of room in here it's nice molly panels right here to hang anything you want to and a little mat pocket here but love the molly panels to be able to attach bags and stuff like that for you on here and you have all your power stuff right here. You got 120, you got uh, um, your USB ports, you got everything there. And these are your rear window controls right there for you too. We do have cup holders in the middle of the console right here like that for you. And uh, seats do fold down. We'll show you that in a minute as well too when we first look at the back seat. Let's check that out real quick. But beautiful, I mean, there's a lot of room in this, okay? This has got, I mean, there's a lot going for this vehicle. Ford did it right and remember, this is still gen one of these vehicles okay we are talking about jeep for example that's been out since 1941 in many different revisions and updates this is gen one for them and they're nailing it this has got removable fenders these fenders are removable on here so you can take them off real quick and easy for off-road use now when you have the hard top it's different than the soft top as far as the opening capabilities here okay with the hard top it then flips open with the soft top i can't remember how this little who dicky works but i think yeah you got to hit these little side levers and the whole thing kind of comes up like this see how it kind of leans up 
that's how you get into here it leans up that way where on the hard cover it's just like a you know a regular jeep you open this main one then that one opens up but uh you get with the soft top it's this tip up style designed to get in there um which comes down and locks there we go good space back here good tie down points in here which is really nice and they give you storage in here that is also drainable which is kind of nice because you can use it as a cooler you got your jack and stuff here too so it gives you nice stuff little flimsy on this as far as i'm concerned compared to like how jeep does it but functional and uh good setup in here we're gonna drop those seats and see what kind of room we got in a minute and uh but you're basically your swing out tailgate with the tire mounted on it let's pop these down see what we're looking at here so we hit this and this whole seat comes down now just like with the wrangler anything that you put underneath here storage wise is not storage because as soon as you drop the seats we drop this see how everything falls forward and comes down so there is no under seat storage there now this is part where it kind of becomes a bummer which we'll show you in a minute but let's drop the other one down i mean there's one spot here where i i definitely think uh, could definitely be improved on and I hope they do because we are overlanders campers hunters and that kind of stuff We come in here. We hit we drop the headrest Then we drop the seat down Okay, it's gonna fall down into here, too So there's our lay flat design But it's not really lay flat. Okay, if you look at this, there's not um, There's this huge hump. I'll show you when we look at this. So if we come around on this side and we look at it from here look at that big wall right there that would have to be built up to be able to sleep in here it's kind of a bummer and when you climb into this as i'm going to do right now okay sleeping in here is not really i mean you have some room and if you watched my wrangler video make sure it's recording right yeah if you watched my wrangler video you saw that it's very easy to sleep in that wrangler in this i don't have as much room okay there's not as much room to sleep in here and I'm only 5'6", and I'm right at the edge. So this one is a little less space-wise in here. But you also have this massive, massive mound right here that you have to contend with. Um, you know, they put this little guard over the wires and stuff on here. But if you are going to sleep in here, or you are going to set it up so that you could sleep in here, this would require you to actually modify and build a platform set up in here if you wanted that and you don't have quite as much room as you do in the wrangler but it is still a very nice feature perfect for a lot of things you got a nice compartment right here to be able to throw some uh straps and things like that into 12 volt power there courtesy lights back here so it's a great setup um nice hydraulic assist on the tailgate here there we go and oh i did not put that all the way down let's put that all the way down first so we gotta clamp that down that up pull her down locked and locked and locked there we go and that is the setup there but like i said beautiful beautiful vehicle very capable vehicle priced right there with the uh, wrangler as far as pricing wise on these kind of things uh gorgeous setup i mean ford nailed it on these they did a fantastic job and like i said i'm excited to eventually own one of these and we know it's gonna be because with the, with the toyota 4runner going out in a style the 2023 in 2024 being we have the 23 2024 being the last year for that style of the um of the uh forerunner i don't want i'm not buying i would never buy the new forerunner that's coming out do you know it'll be out in 2025 i want nothing to do with it no offense to anybody that likes them but they're not for me so when my wife if she wants to get out of that forerunner this is what she wants to go with and i'm more than happy to accommodate that uh like i said these are beautiful vehicles very capable vehicles a lot of room in them a lot of beautiful setup <clears throat> my only request for her which she loves is the fact that i want it to be a sasquatch package because that way if i take her vehicle over at a later date i get the benefits of the sasquatch package and i want that with the 35s on there so that's that's my goal with these and uh, price wise let me show you the stickers on them real quick so this one being a soft top it being a, a, a badlands we are jc lewis ford right here in statesboro georgia but you can see the specs on this let me actually do this bring it in better and hopefully you can see it without the glare the glare here is always pretty bad so let's scroll it down 
And final sticker price right there, 59000 Not bad in today's world for that. Now, if we come over here to this Outer Banks, which I don't have the keys for, but it's a little simpler in design. Okay, and it is not the Sasquatch package. Not really the off-road, more though on-road, but still very capable off-road. You're at 55 for this one. And when we get into that uh, wild track, which is kind of like one of the top dogs other than a Raptor R and stuff like that too, we get into this, where's their sticker on here? 57, okay, now this is a two-door hardtop, but this one right here in a four-door, this one's got cloth interior, this is used. Um, I believe it's used. Is it used? No, nope, 2023. Um, but they did some mods. They put the pod lights on there. They did some changes. I see a sticker up on there. But uh, this would be perfect for me, the cloth seats in there. I, I like this. But um, anyway, point being, these are solid, solid vehicles with a lot of value and a lot of capability and a lot of power. And Ford wants you in them. They want you driving these. This is uh, this is their goal. So they're offering the lease options. They're offering the A-plan options. And they're offering any Jeep owner $1,000 off if you, convert, if you come from Jeep over to Bronco. So pretty, pretty amazing trucks. Pretty great setup. And... Uh, like I said, the capabilities of them are amazing. Let me show you underneath of them real quick before we're done. So you can kind of see, because they are independent front suspension, coil spring, rear suspension. Okay, so a little different kind of approach. Good skid plates on this Sasquatch package. I'll show you around the other sides. Now, if we come over here to this Badlands, basically same kind of concept here. IFS suspension on here. You notice here, we got crash bars right here on this one, which seem, I'm hoping, are pretty easy to remove, but it crash bars here, uh, because it's got 33s, 35s, crash bars are removed in order to get clearance for these 35s. Uh, but there's where the crash bars would go. Here they're on, there they are not. And I'm sure they're on on this one as well too, right there. So you can see them there too as far as differences. Now when you get into this one, like I said, a little simpler on the underside here. And I will show you that from the back as well. So you can kind of see here, we'll go right under this Badlands. Coil over, uh, coil over springs with a track system. Shock set up right there. You can kind of get a look at it. I think it's like a five link, but some changes in whatever they call it. I can't remember what it is, but there it is right there. I'll put the ground clearance numbers and uh, all the details to these in this video for you. So you will have already seen them. And there you go. That is basically a quick little walk around on these Broncos. Absolutely amazing vehicles. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.